Chikaya Misumo is a former child soldier from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now he owns a fitness center in the United States and has published a book which recounts his remarkable journey. Kibola Russell has the story. Chikaya Misamu's book, Shadow of Freedom, tells the story of how he was forced into being a child soldier in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It also details his escape to America and his tour of duty in Iraq as a United States Marine. By the time you finish this book, you will understand that there is not an obstacle that you cannot overcome. There is not a door that cannot be opened. And there is not a road that cannot be walked through. But you decide to make the change, and change happen with you. Misamu's book describes how his childhood changed when political violence erupted in the DRC. At age seven, he was forced to serve as a child soldier, and for the next 12 years, he fought in the country's civil war. After his mother was attacked, Misamu eventually fled Congo and arrived in the United States. He enlisted in the Marine Corps and served in Iraq. He lives in California, where he owns Warrior Fitness, a personal training facility. Give it to me. Give it to me. Misamu uses fitness techniques inspired by his experiences as a soldier. This is the gym. They have machines. But when I start training them, I train them outside by using a non-traditional workout, like a tire, like a pole, at, uh, at the corner of the street. After becoming a U.S. citizen in 2004, Misamu returned to Congo, but he was unexpectedly attacked by members of his old militia and jailed. He managed to escape after being held for nearly a week, but one day he hopes to return to Congo. I want to build bridges to go down in a witch down because the Congo is my soul, the Congo is my heart. And the only way I can help the Congo is by telling the story. And when they go back and inspire them by building schools and hospitals. Misamu, who lives with his wife and children, is currently studying for an advanced degree in education. He says he is grateful to be an American citizen. Five, four, three, two, three, up. Kimberly Russell, VOA News.